Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is this week's grocery haul in addition to the meal plan for the week. I will also be sharing what I'm doing during our prep time. This week I went back to Aldi again and I was pretty much able to find everything I was looking for. The only thing I couldn't find was ibuprofen but Aldi doesn't typically have a lot of pharmacy items so that's totally fine. I will go to Kroger for that. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Grapes were on sale this week. I also bought some mushrooms and some strawberries. Mangoes were 99 cents. Some Brussels sprouts, cilantro, a couple bags of the sweet butter lettuce, these were on sale. This is kind of a splurge item, but we've kind of been on the hunt for a lamp for my daughter's room. They had these in the Cars, Princesses, Frozen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We are running low on the pasta sauce, so I bought the tomato basil and the marinara. Both of these are Whole30 compliant. And I do kind of doctor these up with some garlic powder and onion powder. Also bought a thing of organic fat-free milk. That's for the hubby. Celery was on sale this week. And I went for the organic bananas this week only because the regular bananas were all super, super ripe. A staple in our household is the Roma tomatoes. I love these in the morning alongside eggs. And I also bought a thing of zucchini squash, bought a head of cauliflower, a couple of cucumbers, and I went for the organic avocados this week because they actually ended up being cheaper than the regular avocados. A thing of coconut water, couple of the Belle Vie sparkling waters again, one in lemon, one in lime. I bought a dozen eggs up there. And these were on sale. This was around $3 for a four pack of tissues. And for the meat this week, I wanna give a shout out to Jamie of Border Bananas. She had asked me uh, when I had commented on her last meal plan if I had seen these stickers before. And I might have, I might not have, but as of today's grocery trip, I have seen them. These kind of discount stickers are kind of rare at Aldi and it's really just to move the products quicker. And actually I have a few days on this still to make it. About a pound or so of chicken breast. I bought this before. This is the Pole and Line Sustainably Caught Skipjack Tuna. These were 99 cents each. Okay, so this week's meal plan is a little bit different because I put some entrees in here that were to clean up some of my pantry. I am trying to clear it of some items that are almost expired or just expired. Most of those items unfortunately are not Whole30 compliant so I'll be giving those to my husband and my daughter while I'll be having some different entrees. But for today we'll be having the cauliflower rice with a side of guacamole and carrots. Monday I'll save some of the guacamole and carrots as a side for that night. I'll be making some matzo ball soup. I have a kit in our pantry that I can make for my husband and daughter. That'll be Monday and Tuesday's entree for them. Monday's entree for me will be some okra with coconut aminos, which is kind of like soy sauce. Tuesday, my entree will be Greek salad with chicken while my husband and daughter finish up the matzo ball soup. As a side, we'll be having some roasted Brussels sprouts. Wednesday, we all will be having Greek salads with chicken, and I'll also have some SpaghettiOs for my daughter and my husband if he wants some. That's one of those pantry items that I'm trying to use up. Thursday will be tuna salad with celery for me, and for my husband and daughter, I'll be using that tuna salad to make tuna sandwiches. Friday and Saturday as an entree will be some baked orange whole chicken, and another pantry item that I'm trying to get rid of is some sweet potato soup. Unfortunately, there's a bit of sugar in there, so that is not Whole30 compliant. So for my side, I'll be having some zucchini and mushrooms. Prep for this week is fairly simple. I'll be baking some potatoes. Some of those will be really used for lunches. Some I might chop up into breakfast scrambles this week. We'll see. Next, I'll be doing a ton of chopping of vegetables. So celery for the tuna salad, and I'm going to add that to the matzo ball soup. 
Also gonna chop up some zucchini, mushrooms, cauliflower for the cauliflower rice, onions, some cilantro for the cauliflower rice and the guacamole, tomatoes and Brussels sprouts. Next, I will be making the matzo ball soup. Even though we're not really having that tonight, it kind of lasts a while because there's so much sodium in there, really. So that'll be for Monday and Tuesday, all set to go. Next, I will make the cauliflower rice for tonight and I'll also make the guacamole. I'm so excited about that. I haven't had fresh guacamole in so long and it's like one of my favorite things ever. For breakfast and lunch, as I said, possibly some scrambles, um, baked potatoes for lunches, leftovers, and then my favorite thing ever for breakfast is eggs and tomatoes, uh, or I might do eggs and a side of sauteed mushrooms. All right, so that is it for this week's grocery haul meal plan and prep time for the week. If you have any dishes that you've been enjoying lately, please do let me know. Shout out to Sweet and Simple Home for suggesting Korean beef. It's been a while since I've done a Korean type of dish. I might do that with maybe some green onions. I love, love hearing all of your suggestions for dinners. It really helps me out, especially on the Whole30 because it can be very limiting and a little bit boring at times, so uh, very repetitive. But it truly does help me even if they are not Whole30 compliant because it gets me thinking of some other meals that I could try. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and take care. Yay!